Hello, I hope you're doing well. Today I am here with MT Divine Creations to show you uh, one of my favorite activities to make and personalize, so stay tuned. Some of the materials you're going to need. I got this at the craft store, Velcro. Some accessories. Uh, the stuffed animals that I get come with, uh, with ribbon already. I don't like it. Um, you need a lighter to make sure uh, the ribbon doesn't fray, kind of seal it at the ends. Um, two types of fabric, one for the front and one for the back. And I believe those are all the materials that you will need to make this project. It's very easy, very simple, very fast, and it doesn't require much work and many materials. So stay tuned. So this is the little stuffed animal and all I did was uh, took off, opened it, and then took off part of the filling inside. And this is a toothbrush holder. And I'm gonna put him right inside and then uh, close it back up. Okay, so as I'm finishing up, this is the time to pull tight and kind of just shape it how you want to. This is what I did with my needle, as you can see, um, making my final stitches. And um, I'm going to show you how to do some techniques later on that you can hide if, if you need help with that. But that's really all I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm done. I went around. I did it a couple of times to make sure it was tight and secured. I am going to put some ribbon here to kind of hide that, make it look a little more cutesy. But let me show you. So this is one of the originals. And as you can see, it's not... Like it's not aligned properly with his body and the stitches are not the best. You know, you can easily open it and see inside. It's just not, some of them are coming apart. So just so you can get an idea of what I got on Amazon. That's where I got them from. But, um, they're good enough. They're going to do the job. I can fix. I can undo it and fix his little head. But as you can see, not the, not the very best alignment. Um, but that's what he looks like right now. His head was a little crooked before, so I fixed him a little bit. So I recommend that you do it a couple of times to make sure that it's nice and tight and secure. And so now... He makes some noise. I cut the top part so I no longer need it. And I'm going to either put a bow there or add some ribbon just to add more stimulation there. But that's what he looks like. So now I'm looking to see what I want to add. I'm going to put ribbon around his neck and then you can Add whatever accessories you want or have around. It's up to you what you want to do. I just got them at the store and they come in a little packet. Um, depending on if you want to add color. It's up to you. So I'm just going to sew that around and make sure it's ni nicely tight and secured. Okay, so here are the materials I need. I went ahead and just created a pattern. This is just a piece of paper. It's just paper. And then I traced it and I cut my two pieces. This one's going to be the bottom because it's nice and soft. And this one's going to be on the top. So what I'm going to do is this is the right side. So I'm just going to make sure... It's facing down and I'm going to go ahead and go around and then when I'm done he's going to be sitting like right here okay 
So let me go ahead and start sewing and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting right here on this side and I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna leave this open in here so I can uh, flip the material and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you when I'm done with it. That's where I started. Okay, so I'm leaving that open. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fabric. And I have this little tool that I got. At the craft store to help me flip it easier. But um, you can also use really anything you have at home to help you. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And look how soft that material is. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and fold the edges and then sew and um, fold the edges, iron, and then sew. So I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I fold it inside so it won't fray. And I'm gonna go ahead and just close it. Just make sure it's perfectly aligned. And then show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I don't have to secure it because I will add Velcro to it and that's gonna help secure it even more. Here's a small piece of Velcro that I got and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's secured. Just go around maybe an X or two. Now I could have done this before to this um, fabric by itself so you can have a cleaner look and I don't have to see the stitches but I'm okay with it and you can do that if you like I'll show you what I mean with that I'm just gonna go at an angle securing it and you're going to do the same thing to the other side have to move it I have it a little bit closer to the edge and I'm doing this so the velcro won't move okay so I did my X see that was my X so I'm gonna go around it one more time and then when I get here, I'm gonna do my other line to complete my X. So there it is. I'm gonna go like this and now I can secure. And what I mean by that is just go ahead and 
hit reverse a couple of times. And that should be good enough. So there you go. So here's my little X and my square. And this is what I was talking about. You see my stitches. So you can actually add the Velcro before you put these two pieces together if you don't want to see that. I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. I think it makes it cute. But it's up to you what you want to do. This way, the Velcro, when you, when you Velcro it, it won't move. So that secures it. Okay, so I just finished doing this one. The other, the soft, the soft side is going to be on top. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to put it on top. That way, you kind of have a bracelet. See, you have a bracelet. And I'm going to do, do the exact same thing. Okay, so now, oops, now I'm going to sew nice and secure. I'm going to sew this, sorry, I'm going to sew this little plush right here. Okay, and I'm going to make sure it's secured. Now, um, depending on what you want to use this for, I, if you see these, they're not, they're not secured. So what I would recommend is that you take this off and just make some eyes with black thread, okay? If you want to keep these, you're going to have to go over them multiple, I'm sorry, multiple times because safety first, this is any loose items like this are not, see? I barely tuck, tuck a little bit, pull a little bit and it's coming loose. So you need to make sure whatever toys you have around, whatever you're gonna use, that they're nicely secured and I honestly just recommend getting rid of them and just put in some little black eyes like a little black circle with thread and that will do I'll show you what that looks like in another toy okay so you see this one see, there are no beads and it looks so cute also makes noise it's a little rat I think it's a rat I have to ask my daughters what this is it looks like a rat to me but either way, that's what I'm talking about right here. Safety first, just make sure that children are not exposed to loose parts like this or small parts could be a choking hazard for them. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and secure. I already started. But I'm going to go ahead and secure this and just sew it by hand. So you can see, make sure it's nice and tight, not loose. And make sure it covers this so we don't have, I don't have to look at that. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, so here, this is my final product. I went, I sat around a couple of times to make sure it was secured. I had to tighten it a little bit to just to make sure it was tight enough, but here it is. Okay. 
Little rattle. Stay tuned and I can um, show you some cute little crochet shoes that I just finished for a newborn. I hope you like them. These are the cute little shoes for a newborn handmade, as you can tell. Very soft. And I can show you how to make these. So stay tuned. I really love how this turned out. I hope the tutorial helped you. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like I said before, you can go ahead and add something here if you want to. You can add little pieces of ribbon to help you. If you do that, I recommend this type of ribbon. And just make sure you're fray and uh, sew it by hand. Make sure it's secure. You can pick whatever colors you want, but you can put just a little bit on top if you want, or you don't have to. But um, you can add a little bit of hair here if you need to. Um, it's just for decoration, and again, making sure that anything you add, it's nicely secured. Thank you so much, and have a good day.